Hi guys, in today's tutorial, we're going to be going over how to set up your file to enhance your layout using Neon Yellow. Now with our document open, you'll see that we already have some yellow elements in place. Now in order to change the yellow to Neon Yellow, we'll have to create a new swatch. To make a new swatch, go over to the Swatch tab, click in the top right corner, and select New Swatch. Now we're going to name the new swatch Neon Y, capital N and a capital Y. That way, the Fiery Command Workstation will know where to apply the fifth color neon. Color type is going to be Spot, color mode will be CMYK, and for the color itself, we're going to choose 100% yellow. That way we can maintain the look and feel of our design. Now you'll see over in the swatch palette, we have the new neon swatch. Now if you select some of the elements, you'll see that they're all 100% yellow. Now the idea here is to change anything that's using regular yellow to neon yellow. Now you could go through and select each individual element and change it to neon yellow manually, or you can select all the elements and change it in one motion. To do that, go to select on the toolbar, scroll down the same, and select fill color. Now I've already expanded the outlines, so everything is a fill versus a fill and stroke. If it was a fill and stroke, you might have to do this twice. But since everything's just a fill, we only have to do it once. Now with everything selected, if you look over on the swatch palette, you'll see that yellow is highlighted. So all we need to do now is click Neon Yellow. And you'll see at the top that everything selected is set in Neon Yellow. So now we can get rid of the regular yellow, and we're only left with Neon Yellow. At this point, we're ready to save our file. Now we're going to save this as a PDF. We'll just add neon to the file name so we know it's coded with neon yellow. And for the preset, we're going to choose PDFX4. Now since we're using a die cut template, we don't need to specify any marks or bleeds. All right, once you've saved your PDF, let's double check and confirm the presence of the neon yellow. Open your PDF with Adobe Acrobat. Now over on the right side, we have some tools. Find Print Production. If you don't have it on there, go over to the Tools tab on the left side and add it. Now once you click on that, click on Output Preview. This will bring up a window that shows all the colors used in the document. You'll see the normal CMYK process plates, but you'll also see a spot plate with Neon Y present. That means there's Neon Yellow in this document. Now if you click and unclick the checkmark box, it will turn off and on the yellow so you can see exactly where it's going to hit. Now if you mouse over, you can also see the percentage of ink in the document. With that confirmed, you're ready to print. Enjoy!